1939 D. Jefferson Nickel and Mean State 68 with full steps. Reverse of 1940 variety. The scarcer variety from the second year of Jefferson Nickel production. Faint gold and peach tones dominates the patina with tinge of powder blue accenting the rims. The luster is uniform and satiny across each side, complementing the overall untouched surfaces. These varieties are remarkably challenging in grades above MS66 and exponentially more so when the full step detail is considered. The present example is the very finest of these elusive population and sits alone at the top of the PCGS population report. It was sold for $26,400 at Stax Powers auction. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to smash subscribe and bell buttons below this video. Thanks. Moving on with this 1954 scent in Mint State 67 red, with rich color and vibrant mint luster. This intensely luster superb gem scent offers deep reddish orange coloration over both the obverse and the reverse. A degree of streaky tan color occurs near the top of the reverse, while the other side enjoys pleasing accents of lavender and powder blue. The strength of the design is readily apparent on the legends and wheat lines, as is the absence of any bothersome blemishes. It was sold for $31,200 at Heritage Auctions. If you have such rare coins you want to sell, watch this video until the end and I'll show you where you can advertise them for sale. This is 1971 D. Eisenhower dollar in mid state 67 plus CAC proven superb gem. This particular coin has a grading of MS67 plus, indicating that it is in mid state 67 condition, which is considered to be very high grade for a circulated coin. The plus symbol after the grade signifies that the coin possesses exceptional eye appeal or quality that goes beyond the typical MS67 grade. The CAC sticker signifies that the coin has undergone additional scrutiny and has been deemed to possess exceptional quality. The presence of CAC sticker generally adds value and enhances the desirability of a coin among collectors. It ended up selling for $13,056.75 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Here is 1969's double dice cent in choice about uncirculated condition. The 1969S double die was discovered shortly after its release, yet today's specimens remain highly elusive. The bolt die doubling in places is nearly as dramatic as on its cousin, the 1955 double die, an error coin that's nonetheless far more available. While the digits of the 1955 double die are more widely separated, the letters near the rim of the 1969s double die are separated by nearly half letter widths at in God we trust. The digits of the date and the liberty are also widely doubled, although not in so extreme a fashion as the 1955 double die. A tick at the top of Lincoln's hair and one on the beard are only mentionable contact marks on a verse. Singular contact is also nearly absent on the reverse, save for a small mark on column of the Lincoln Memorial. These are minor complaints, however, compared to the overall high quality and excellent eye appeal this coin shows. It was sold for $22,325 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1964 Kennedy Elf Dollar in PR68 condition, highly elusive accented hair variety, comes with deep cameo designation. This delightful proof is virtually pristine with untoned silver white surfaces. The finish is decidedly cameoed with bold contrast between the frosty devices and deeply mirrored fields. Of the stream ideal 950,762 proof set, the Philadelphia means struck for the first year 1964 Kennedy of dollar. Rick Tamaske estimates that only about 100,000 coins are of the accented hair variety. According to that author, this brief type was terminated after Jacqueline Kennedy inspected the new half dollars, bearing her husband's portrait at the request of mint personnel. The former first lady objected to some of the finer hair details and recommended change, which eventually resulted in the revised Type 2 design. The easiest way to differentiate between the Type 1 and the Type 2 designs is to look at the hair strands directly above the Kennedy's ear. On the accented hair variety, two prominent strands in the area form a V-shape. 
that is not seen in the Type 2 examples. This gem was sold for $12,000 at Stax Powers auction. This is 1952 D. Jefferson Nickel in mid state 67 with full steps. Whispers of lilac toning enhances the overburst of this technically superior Jefferson Nickel. The 1952 Denver issue is extremely difficult to find with a full strike due to incorrect die spacing at the mint. To locate one with flawless aesthetics and luster's appeal is almost unheard of. It was sold for $15,275 at 30 auctions. Here is 1955 D. Roosevelt Diamond Mint State 68 with full bands, well blended toning in copper rose, powder blue, and pale gold color to seen both sides. It's seen both sides of this vivid superb gem. The underlying luster is fully frosted and intense, and the surfaces are as pristine as the day the coin emerged from the press. The Denver Mint struck 30,959,000 dimes in 1955. At the time, collecting coins by roll was popular among collectors and quite a few rolls of this issue were soon removed from circulation. This created an ample supply of mint state specimens including some with downright exquisite toning as here. The challenge of locating a striking gem example is further compounded by the fact that the bands on the torch on the reverse are sometimes rather weak and poorly defined. With its combination of delicate toning, bold strike, and overall impressive eye appeal, this specimen is certain to attract spirited bidding when it crosses the auction block. It was sold for $5,280 at Stax Bowers auction. Here is 1995 Lincoln Center Mint 69 red condition. The MS69 grade is high grade on the Sheldon coin grading scale, which ranges from 1 to 70. MS70. MS stands for mint state, indicating that the coin is uncirculated and has no significant wear or damage. A grade of MS69 signifies that the coin is nearly perfect with only minor imperfections visible under magnification. It may have some very minor surface marks or flaws, but overall it is a superb example of a Lincoln scent from that year. This superb gem fetched the sum of $19,202.62 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. This is 1942 Washington Quarter in PR68 condition. This one also comes with CAC sticker on the slab. An exceptional example of the proof 1942 Washington Quarter, both sides with dustings of light sandy gold iridescence. The surfaces are uniformly mirrored in finish with virtually pristine appearance, impressive condition rarity from the mintage of 21,123 coins. The 1942, the final proof in the series, struck prior to 1950. It was sold for $3,840 at Stax Bowers auction. Moving on with his 1979 half dollar struck on Susan B. Anthony dollar planchette graded in mint state 65 by PCGS. Excellent cartwheel luster encircles golden gray surfaces, boldly struck and nicely centered with the tops of the date digits visible and easily identified. The surfaces are especially choice, a very popular error type using the short-lived mini dollar planchette. It was sold for $1725 at Stax Bowers auction. This is 1971 Jefferson Nickel, with no S mint mark, among the finest examples of this modern rarity. The surfaces are essentially perfect, and black and white contrast between the features and the fields is pronounced. Proof times are particularly susceptible to the no S mint error, with several dates known, but no S proof nickels were only struck in 1971. It was sold for $2,760 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1972 Lincoln Sand with double diverse graded in mid state 67 plus read by PCGS. According to PCGS, the 1972 double die type 1 can be easily identified as it has strong doubling to the southwest on all four digits on the date. The word liberty is also doubled toward the south. The words in God we trust on the obverse are also strongly doubled towards the east. This variety is popular and it's also strong enough to see very easily with naked eye. It was sold for $9,343.74 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. 
Thanks for watching guys, keep following us on YouTube and don't forget to smash thumbs up and notification buttons. Have a nice day. If you have rare and valuable coins, you can showcase them on our website, thecoinaz.com. For mobile users, it's much easier publishing coin ads using our Coinaz app, available in Play Market and App Store.